my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm Fantastico and doing really well. And today I am viewing Kajal Om. Not Om too. A little bit of marketing, so I'll read it. The scent that is charming, sincere, and a representative of a charismatic person. That's me. I'm raising my eyebrows, I'm being sarcastic. This fragrance is the first fragrance for men launched from the house of Kajal. The universal appeal of this fragrance has garnished and made it a favorite unisex perfume. This fragrance is the first fragrance for men and it's a unisex perfume. Okay. Get it all. Another unique feature is the fact that this fragrance is a great summer oud scent for a person seeking to own an oud scent that can be worn in both colder winter temperatures and equally enjoyed in the high summer temperatures. Wow, this is saying everything, isn't it? The notes are cassis, ruby red grapefruits, and a touch of mandarin. The heart of this scent is woody and gayak wood, cardamom, orange blossom, and cashmere. Base notes of subtle richness that not only lasts its presence, but is also an impression. I don't understand that at all. This makes no sense. I mean, maybe I'm dyslexic, but this is, I don't understand this. It's composed of musk, oud, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka, bean, and vanilla. Each of these precious ingredients whilst unique on their own, forms an impressionable bond that complements each other's hurrah. It is 169 pounds for a brick, 100 mil. So let's look at the atomizer. I like the packaging. I don't know about this sort of ninja star. I used to do karate when I was a kid and we used to have to, I don't know what they're called, ninja star, we used to throw them. Total sort chart that was, very chaotic. Nice atomizers. The one thing I remember, we were looking at reports when I was a child and most of them said that I need to go and calm down. I'm likable and I talk too much, but a lot of them was I need to calm down and I'm too excitable. I think how many creative children did they tell that to? You know, instead of like, uh, I hope it's different now in school, instead of like giving them things to occupy their mind, you know, calm down, go and sit in the corner, shut up. As long as I'm making people laughing and entertaining people, I don't really care. So let's apply this OM for everyone. This is really nice. This is really great. Putting it out there. Really like, really likable. Whoever created this, they were like, we're gonna release our first man's fragrance for everyone. We're gonna launch our first unisex men's fragrance. And we want it to be as in likable. This is great. Sweet, woody, vibrant, beautiful choice of naturals. Credember is giving it radiance, metallic, ambergris like note, based on ice cream, but obviously clean white musk, helping to give this cleanliness and a clean finish. It's so familiar, this. The vanilla notes giving it sort of smoothness and sweetness. Kumar and is giving that tonka feel. And Broxin acetates. Linalol. It's so familiar, maybe because I deal a lot with these rooms, it's really, really familiar. The radiance of this is amazing. Radiance, clean, sweet. Lily of the Valley raw materials and ethyl malta whipping through the base. This is lovely. Really, really sweet. Really, really clean, radiant, dense at the same time. Rad I keep saying radiant because it is radiant. It's kind of, that's the thing I'm getting from it. Some fragrances just don't work on my skin at all. Don't get nothing, but this is kind of working. I totally get why they're saying in the literature that this is great for all seasons because I, I would totally wear this. I think I love the choice of naturals, the citrus accord, lemon, mandarin. I love the vertebra, the patchouli, the kayak wood, sort of smoking this out. Patchouli like raw materials and patchouli to give it sort of darkness, smokiness. I always love smoky photonic fragrances, even slightly. I think it's something really, there's a sensualness about it. And I think, in my opinion, of course, all of this is my opinion, that fragrances go from being juvenile, under 18, let's say up to 21. They're sort of those first fragrances, all the one million sort of ones, to being sophisticated and the adult sweetness that makes sense when you smoke it out, when it's photonic. That sort of difference is what makes things smell sort of older and sophisticated. I like when you have everything, that sweetness, smokiness, those together, that sweet smokiness is giving this adult fragrance. That kind of makes sense. Onto my final thoughts. 
I love this. I think this is great. It's kind of what I thought the other one was going to be. This has been so well crafted. The raw materials are really like beautifully chosen. It's kind of giving me really, really beautiful meal, you know, where you have the start of the main course and the dessert and it's all really great. The atmosphere is really good and the setting is really good and you're with really good company and you kind of give it a 10. This is what this is doing to me. Uh, the longevity is going to be insane off this. The way it's constructed, the choice of raw materials is just really great. The perfumer really knew what they were doing and it really hit a brief. And I think to me, the development time will be longer with this. It smells sort of really beautifully executed. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my work. If I'm slight, if I'm honest with you, not nothing like it, but the, the raw materials that they're using in this is kind of what I gravitate to and I gravitate this sort of to this sweet smoky cleanness really great the mathematics are behind this are really really precise it smells dense heavy and radiant I think this is exactly as it says which is suitable for sort of all occasions I think men and women even though I was joking about it men or men and women could absolutely wear this you know women that like sort of heavier denser scents could absolutely wear this I think the price is great for this 189 you know, it's for 100 mils for something with quality raw materials, long lasting projection, uh, and it also smells instantly likable. It's got that instantly likable thing of being at this amazing cross section of clean, smoky, uh, sweet, and citrusy, smoky, all that sort of stuff. So it's at this amazing sort of cross section. It's kind of doing everything for me. I would totally gravitate to this and it reminds me of my work. It reminds me of when you take something designer and take it up a level. When you take something which is like 80 pound fragrance and then you take it up a notch and put in these raw materials that are expensive because you're a smaller house and you can and you want to. To me, it smells like no expense was spared. That's kind of how I feel about it. It feels like, I can only speak for myself, I kind of like, I really want to create something which is really well loved. And I really want to create something which people love and gravitate to and it's their signature scent and a lot of people can get it. And to me, it smells like designer done at another level up there. I love it. Of course, I'm going to mark it at 10. I would absolutely wear it. I think the price is good. I would not change anything about it at all. I think it's perfection in a bottle. And I would go and run and get it before it sells out. I imagine it sells out all the time. Kind of, they can't produce enough of it. And they probably have like a poor chemist making the concentrate, you know, make out the bulk of it. And they're kind of, oh, we've run out again. But that's what happens when you do really good work. You kind of, you have people loving it. Love it. I think it's amazing. Wouldn't change anything about it. So if you love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.